I'm actually probably going to do some things that I've probably never done before, so you might have to bear with me. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank the committee of the Texas Sports Hall of Fame for selecting me, and I'd like to thank every guy to my right and to my left of, of just greatness and being able to be in this elite class is something that, uh, man, I'm, I'm very proud of. Um, I want to thank my wife and my three beautiful kids that's right here in this table in front of me um, for their support. And I also want to thank my brother and sister for their sacrifices and, of course, uh, my parents, my mom and dad that's in front of me here as well. Um, I have a lot of family and friends here to enjoy this experience with me, um, some mostly from the state of Texas and a few of my friends from out of town, um, to enjoy this moment and this experience. I also want to thank my uh, Texas Longhorn family uh, for the support of being here as well. That, that definitely means a lot. Um, this is a vision I, I didn't see. This is a vision I didn't plan. It's a vision I didn't expect. It's an honor, but it isn't about me. Uh, this induction is. For my mother. I received a lot of awards, a lot of accolades at a young age. Majority of the moments that I experienced, it was always about a male figure and how male figures helped me get to the level and to the point of my basketball success. I think today, for me, it's more of a closure of my basketball life. As I decide to move on to the next journey in my life, there's a tears of joy, not sad, because I felt it was a great ride. I never expected any of the things that I ever received. The only thing that I ever wanted was to please my mother. My mother made a lot of sacrifices, a lot of great ones. She made a sacrifice because I'm from a small town, Baytown, Texas, where most people do not come out of. A lot of crime, a lot of drugs, a lot of same, same, same old stories that I grew up around. My parents protected me, my family protected me. My mom sacrificed driving me to Houston three, four times a week for basketball practice. It's times that she had to trust other people with her child, but I think the morals and the values that her and my father raised me would allow me to have that trust that I can take care of myself while she's making a sacrifice of going to school or putting me in the hands of another person that is not a family member. One of the biggest sacrifices she had to make, and I really, really valued and understood, is when you have multiple kids, you're going to sacrifice. Uh, the reason I work so hard and the reason that I do the things that I do is for my family because I understood the pressure. I understood how this one individual can change the lifestyle of my entire family for generations. My brother and my sister, who I'm very close to, had to give up their dreams for this kid that's standing here in front of me. What people don't know is that wasn't easy growing up as a kid as well for them to put their dreams and their aspirations on hope. So in my heart, it's a lot of relationships that I let go for as family and for friends to sacrifice because I knew my mother, my father, and my brother, and my sister sacrificed everything to give me the best opportunity to be successful. I went around the world playing basketball. I was always the best kid where I was from. 
But as I traveled, I realized that other people was better than I was. And from that moment there, I just never stopped working. I always, always, always dreamed of just making it to the NBA. I never dreamed about anything else. It wasn't about money. It wasn't about fame. It was about watching the guys that I idolized and wanting to be at the level that they was as a basketball player. I tell everybody my dream was not to go to the University of Texas. I never wanted to go to the University of Texas. My mother is the reason I went to the University of Texas. She seen something that we didn't see. She had the vision that I didn't see. She had a plan that I didn't see. I didn't get recruited by all the schools that I wanted to attend. The only thing that I heard in that household was, you're going to Texas. <laughs> I was wondering how they was getting all the inside information and we could never figure it out. But she and the staff at that time scared every college coach in the country from really, really recruiting me. With that being said, the key thing for me was a lot of people that I was surrounded by, a lot of people in the city of Houston. I felt that they did not support the decision of me going to the University of Texas. So from the day that I committed, I felt like it was only four other people in my corner, which was my mom, my dad, my brother, and sister. From there, my entire mentality changed of what I wanted to be. And that was just the best. I love this state more than any basketball player in the world. I'm sacrificing things that I want to do to be right here where I'm from, to give back and to be example and give kids hope and give kids a dream that they can become whatever they want to become. I didn't have a former professional basketball player to look up to that I can relate to that's from the city of Houston. That's something that I want to be. That's something me and my family continue to talk about even with my wife of being uh, the best community leaders that we can possibly be and give back. I felt like I did everything in my power to put my family in this situation because it's things that I experienced that I would never have experienced if I didn't go to the University of Texas. I'm not here to say that this cannot happen at other, any other university in the state of Texas, because I believe it can. But for me personally, the things that the University of Texas instilled in me gave me joy. It gave me confidence. It makes me feel good that I can look at my kids and know that they have a good opportunity to attend the University of Texas like other alumni that expect their kids to attend the University of Texas. <laughs> I don't take that lightly because where I'm from and the way that we grew up, that's not a realistic goal. The goals that I have for myself is the same goals we're trying to instill in other families where I'm from or where any kid is from in this state of Texas. This is the best state. It will always be the best state. And I'm proud to induct not only myself, but my mother <laughs> into the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. Thank you. <laughs>